Hi, Lauren. Yes, the secretary just left a little while ago during an engagement that he had with the chancellor and some ROTC cadets here at FSU. And during our exclusive interview, Secretary Austin shared with us what inspired the subject of his speech that he'll be delivering at tomorrow's commencement. That's the value of service. He also weighed in on Fort Bragg's big transition to Fort Liberty and reflected on his time at the installation. Service across the board, I think, is something that all of us need to uh, continue to, to emphasize, to be a part of something uh, that's, that's bigger than yourself and, and to also to give back to the community that gave to you. The secretary's visit here to HBCU Fayetteville State is highly symbolic as he's not only the first African-American secretary of defense, 30% of the university student population is connected to the military. During our exclusive interview, the secretary also discussed the upcoming transition at Fort Bragg to becoming Fort Liberty. Fort Bragg will be one, continue to be one of the most significant power projection platforms in our inventory. So I think we all have to focus on what this is all about, and it's about the people who live and work here uh, and, and what they do for our country. And I think the continued focus on liberty is a good thing. Fort Bragg was the home of one of the most formative chapters of his career. Austin was the first African-American commander of the 3rd Brigade of the 82nd Airborne Division at the installation and held other roles of distinction. It, it, it was a special time. You know, when you were the commander of the 18th Airborne Corps, I mean, not many humans get a, human beings get a chance to do that. And uh, I followed in the footsteps of some amazing leaders. And a fun fact about Secretary Austin and his personal connection to FSU, this is where he met his wife. Secretary Austin will be speaking at FSU's commencement tomorrow. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. That's a cool little nugget there to know. Monique, thank you.